After using Claw 3 for a few days, I found two really big limitations. One is it does not have web access and the information is a little bit outdated. It's August 2023 right now is the latest update that it has. And it also cannot create images. A lot of times when I create text, I like to right there in the same chat, create an image, something obviously you could do inside of GPT-4 with Dolly in the background. And with GPT-4, the only reason I used Claude in the first place is I don't like the default writing style of GPT-4. So I've been building custom GPTs, training it with my own writing style. I always have to give it more complex prompts every time I start. I can't just do simple one sentence prompting ever and really get what I'm looking for out of GPT-4. But I think I solved all those things with a third app that I wanted to show you in this video. Now there's a good chance you've used this before, but this is one of my favorite apps out there in the world of AI. This is called Perplexity and the website is perplexity.ai. Now what's really awesome about this is not only do I have access to GPT-4 here, I also have access to Claw 3 here. I also have access to Dolly 3 and other image generations and other large language models all in the same platform and it has very up-to-date live data because this is really designed to be a new search engine i think they call it an answer engine here in their marketing let me show you exactly how i use it so if you're using the free version here all you have to do is type in your prompt here and it's going to give you some recommendations but what's really interesting is if you go to this focus mode here you're going to get access to things that are just much more complicated inside of the other apps for example this option right here if you choose this option if you're writing something that requires any type of research in the academic paper world this is going to get access to a whole different thing which you can get access inside of gpt with things like consensus for example that's a custom gpt that has access to similar data sets if you're just using it to write it has this unique writing mode so this doesn't have any web search so this is one of my favorite options i'll show you this in a second it also has access to wolfram this is it was a plugin now there's a custom gpt for it and this is a really useful option inside of gpt when you're using any kind of math you have youtube this is really cool this is going to search the youtube database so this is something that's really good inside of gemini for example so that brings in probably the best part of gemini into perplexity here too you could also search for reddit discussions so if any of these are more important to you you could choose them specifically but by default it's just set to the all focus mode which searches the entire web and if you just use it right off the bat you could go ahead and ask a question but this is the mode i wanted to show you this pro mode so if you don't have the paid version of this and you're using the free version i think you only get five of these searches but if you upgrade to pro you get 600 searches using claw 3 or gpt4 you could choose so let me show you the difference here and with the pro version what it does is sometimes it asks you a follow-up question or it gives you multiple choice it's really awesome this one section to help you really refine it if your prompt was not detailed enough like mine wasn't detailed enough so it's asking me if there is anything specific i'm going to skip it for now and let it write and while it's writing here, basically what it's doing is it's going to do a live web search if I have it in the all mode. If I just want the writing mode, I could use the other option. But in this case, I do want the live web search because I asked it a question that Claw 3, for example, just wouldn't know, right? It would be a little bit out of date. This is something that came out that's brand new. So it needs to do a web search. You could search for images as well. You just click that and search for images. You could search for videos over here as well. And this is going to pull up YouTube videos for you. And if you look down here, the model that wrote this text is Claw 3 Opus, the best model here that I have with the paid version of Perplexity. But here's the power of Perplexity. I could click on rewrite. And if I didn't like how Claw 3 wrote it, I could have ChatGPT or GPT-4 Turbo rewrite the whole thing. Or I could use Mistral Large, the open source model here. If I click this one, I could see, hey, maybe I prefer the answer that GPT-4 is going to give me. In most cases, I like Claw 3 more for this kind of question. So GPT sometimes takes a more promotional approach. Like, for example, here, the Claw 3 model are not merely incremental improvements, but represent a leap forward. It's just by default every single time I'm just trying to communicate the details. I'm not a spokesperson for 
anthropic or Claude 3. But if I take GPT's writing, it's going to sound like I am and I'm just trying to promote them. I don't know why this is the default writing style. Again, the reason why I started using Claude 3 in the first place or Claude 2 in the first place was because of GPT's writing style. So this lets me quickly change that by just using this rewrite option. And maybe you've never used Mistral before. You're curious to see how that writes. Well, just one click away. Now, the default version that is being used in the background, you could change that in the settings. So let me show you that right here in the bottom. You could click the settings gear. Now, right here, Perplexity Pro. Now, this is $20 a month, so this will have to replace something else. So in this case, I probably will not use Claude 3 or pay for Claude 3 and use it here instead. There is one big limitation, though, that I'll point out right here with Claude 3. But right here where it says AI models, this right here could be changed. So the default model, I think this uses a kind of a fine-tuned version of Llama, the open source model. But you could choose GPT, you could use Claw 3, you could use Mistral. Every time, that's going to be the first answer, but you could click that rewrite to choose a different model within that. I have the Claw 3 selected. Now, here's the really cool part. We also get image generation models, and not just one. We get three of them. So a lot of times I was using Dolly 3, that's what's inside of GPT-4, but it creates text that doesn't have the right spelling. So sometimes stable diffusion does a much better job than Dolly 3, depending on what you're creating. So by default, I think I had this to stable diffusion, but I could quickly again change it to Dolly 3. And if I go back inside of a chat, I could generate images. So let's say you're writing a blog post or a product description. It's really nice to just get an image right here based on the copy that it outputted for you without a single prompt. Just click here, choose one, and you have it. So I'll choose illustration in this case, and it's gonna generate for me here from scratch using whatever model. I think Dolly 3 was the one that's activated right now in my setting. Now, this is based on this research I was doing about generative AI versus other type of AI, and this is pretty good. It's created something really nice for me. But what's really interesting is if you select this, there's this little wrench icon too. You could actually type in a custom prompt. So this is the prompt that it wrote just by itself but you could type in the style too, the detail style. Instead of the four he gave you, you could type in whatever you want here as well and then generate whatever image you want and then click and right click and download it. And you have a follow up prompt box right here with the pro option again turned on. And it says 600 searches left a day with the paid version, but that's a lot, right? I'm not gonna get to 600. I probably would hit my GPT-4 limit even with the team's plan far before I hit a limit here using GPT-4 in the background. So what I could do here is also upload images, text, and PDFs. And this is going to do a really good job analyzing that. And it's going to let me do files that are larger. So I just uploaded this document here. And this document is almost 10 megabytes over here. Now, if I do this inside of Claude, which tells me I could upload five documents, 10 megabytes each, it's still going to tell me, even though it's the right file size, it's going to tell me this message is over the length limit using the same exact model in the background. I'm using Claude 3 Opus. I'm using that inside of Perplexity 2. But now I didn't get any kind of error messages and it's telling me exactly what's included inside of this document that I uploaded. This is, again, about 7 or 8 megabytes, under 10, but it's a large, large file, right? It's a large CSV file with a lot of different data. I'm making a video about this coming up. And as you can see, Claude 3 Opus is what wrote this, and then I could rewrite it again and have GPT, GPT-4 Turbo here, analyze the same document and compare the results very quickly. And if you're just using this to write, I recommend changing this to the writing mode so it disables the web access. Still leave it on pro mode. Remember, even with the free version, you have five. But let me show you that one limitations that I mentioned specifically to Claude 3 Opus. Under these AI models, there is a little fine print here that says Claude 3. If you want to use Opus, which is their best model, that is limited to five per day. And this is even with the paid subscription. So this is obviously going to be a big limit right now if you're only literally updating for that one purpose, which is the mode of Claude 3 Opus. But you still get there is no limitation here or these other models don't have any limitations. With the free version of Claude, again, you do get, I think, this default option here. That is what's going to do the search for you. But if you turn on the pro mode, which I really think the power of perplexity is in the pro mode, 
and the free mode I've been using for quite a while but now that I've turned on the pro mode I'm finding this far better especially since he has Dolly 3.2 built into it and I don't have to go jump between GPT and I'm still working on the comparison video between Claw 3 Opus, GPT-4 Turbo, and Google 1.0 Ultra. So that's going to be coming up very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.